we're gonna smoke them in the smoke. That's the bees think there's like a wildfire, like a forest fire or a wild fire. So the bees are gonna put their heads down into the combs and start eating and basically engulfing with, try to fatten up so that if the fire does burn all the vegetation, they at least have some food to survive on until they can fly and find some. So we're like tricking them to think that uh, there's a fire so they're gonna start eating and it blocks the pheromone. So but we'll pull some things out, let you try some honey. Sick. Check it out. Yeah. You'll see. Is the queen all by itself? Nope. She's you'll know the Sorry. queen's her because all the other bees are gonna jump on top of her. Protect her. So but a queen, if another queen comes, so that's how colonies expand. A queen will go to another colony and whip that queen's ass. So the queen is the only bee that has a stinger like a wasp that can multiple bing 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 bing. And a and a queen's a big fat bee because she's laying the egg, so that's just a lot bigger than all the other ones. Cool. They're cool looking. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah. These are so cool. Very I read about them one Very time. Very interesting. We'll go down there yeah. and uh, check it out. Let me get the smoker just... Uh, it's going to be interesting. I've never really been in a beehive thing, whatever it is, but bees are good. More honey, more bees. Let's protect the bees, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing like a hot turd on a warm day. <laughs> Or is it a fresh turd on a cold day? Regardless, it's a turd, right? It's a turd. I had no idea that that's what they used. Oh yeah. Right, Tina? Hi. Pretty sick. I've never been in a beehive or whatever. What is it? Is it called a beehive or a bee box? Beehive? A bee box. No, it'd be super cool. Thank you. You guys produce a lot of honey out of that thing? She will produce. Is it new? Or you yeah, it's pretty new. like a new chick. The honey's always good at first, isn't it? <laughs> I'll just switch the picture mode. No, we're going to be hot. We'll park uh, in front of the hive so you can see them. You got the GoPro? I'll be right here. No, you're coming with us. Smoker? I don't know how to grab it. Laters. No, they won't. They won't get you. Yeah, they're super mellow. They're mellow? Yeah. For real, for real. Yeah. For real? Smoker. He's got it. So I'm gonna look like a kook in this thing? No, yeah, you're all right. All hardcore. Yeah. yeah. Out, 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 out. But then we came down to check them. Whoa. How many you think are in there? I don't know. I probably see like maybe 50, but oh, I see the. See, will you grab one more of these for me, buddy? Out of the so bottom right the there? Front, in the front. You have to look like that. Hear them? Put your ear down there? Yeah, it's crazy. Now that's. Uh, grab that smokestack. There's a couple on the bottom. Yeah, There's one on the bottom. They're really mellow. Can we get it? Here, put this better. Or just hold it. Here, I'll hold it. Yeah. <laughs> that one's super high. That one's on a really weird slithering. They counted down. It's the final oh, countdown. It's rolling. What? What? What is that? We're just filming with a feel of this just so we can, um... But that one's limpy. But it injured me. Hmm. Well, you got smashed. What's up, Flav? Good. Stepping back. Black, staying back on the outskirts. <laughs> and you're trying to blow it, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> These are like their main main ones. We're gonna pull out a side one for you just so you can see it. Gotta be gentle pulling them out. We don't uh, crush smash the bees. Smash any bees. Like that one right there that's trying to do something. Yeah. Right, Daniel, I'll let you hold it. So grab it on each side of the. You From pussy. the top. Of Take your hands out of there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold it like right in the middle. They, they won't they touch won't, you. They won't mess They won't you. even bite you. So this capped honey, right, this is where all the, this, so when they fill the hive 
with honey, they cap it, right? Then we have the cap brew, which is where they lay the larvae, and that's gonna be down in these right here where all the baby bees are. Yep. It takes anywhere from six to eight weeks for a for a bee to be born and, and processed through the whole hatching process. So see how their heads are all down right now and they're eating? Yep. So go ahead and put your finger, like move these bees aside, just stick your finger right in there and try the honey. I'll hold this side for you. Just dip it in. Go into a spot where there's a bunch of bees, like push them away. There you go, just so you can feel it. There you go. Get in there deep. You're all right, you, they'll rebuild it. That tastes good. Oh yeah, you don't have a thing, my bad. Get me out of here. Right here. Up and in. Oh, here we go. That, wow. It's good, right? That's so good. Right That's off, amazing. Right, right off the hive. I can't believe they built that hive. So let's see if That's we can insane. see, find any drone bees for you. I don't know. Look at right there, right one on top. Hold this for me, Jamie. Okay, so you see this guy right here with big eyes? I see one right here. These ones right here, he's a big. So he he's a uh, he doesn't have a stinger. He's a he's a drone bee, right? He flies around like protects and he mates with the queen. Sick. Right. Cool. Huh? Looks like a big ant. Yeah. Exactly. Whoa. And what? Because because the smoke right now that they're all just trying to eat. Yeah. And if you look down here, you see the cat brew down in there. See how it's all capped? And those are all larvae down in that one. Yeah. Right. Wondering, I bet you the queen's in between these two. One of these three right here is where she's at. Oh, these things are working eggs. hard right now. So the drone bees, they have what's called like a almost like a almost like a giant tinder. They set out like a breed a mass breeding area, and um, the drone bees fly out and they all have like a meeting area and all the queens within what was it like a 50 mile mm -hmm. area? Look at that big ass drone right there. You need to close this thing. Yeah, rain. big old boy. Yeah, okay. That's so a thing doesn't, right have a, doesn't have a stinger? No. Doesn't have a stinger. It's they just... Sad, yeah. They just... Um, I to hold on to that for but me. How do you release the honey? So you gotta, you sweep them off and they, uh, they it's in. kind of like a process. Oh, the fit and put this one. You can hear them fired up. What does that do? This is just nectar for them, so there's not much flowers and vegetation here, so they can eat on this if they can't find the honey. But all the new bees are starting to come back. See how they're starting to get fired up right now? Yeah. The rain. The rain. They're like, what's going on? What's going on, guys? Then we'll go over and we'll check the other hive and fill the nectar up for them. Will they migrate from one box to the other? No, they're totally different things. They actually will fight if they come into one another. Really? Yeah. You said I'm on a kook right now? A kook? Is that what you call it? No, what about the kook? I don't know. I thought that's what you said. Because we're no, standing out here without a bee suit. Yeah. Oh, I'm a kook. I look like a kook. You guys are just cruising with nothing. You look right. official, bro. Yeah, you look official. You're ready for That's why I said you could do it by yourself so you look official. I fit the part. Smoke them from the bottom first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I just wondering, like, yeah, how it works. Grab that one out. Oh, it's, yeah. where, where do you, where do you get the nectar from? So we just make it four parts uh, sugar to one part water. You can just wipe bring that right rest off. of that over here, Z, so we can use it. Sounds like good cooling. Get out of here. Just don't swat them. <laughs> They'll be fine. Okay. See, these ones aren't building up in the upper box, but there. Look, they're connecting here all the way. Look at that. It's insane. Open it up. There you go. It's crazy that noise in there. Sound of 4,000 bees. Is that how many go in? Yeah, 4,000. 4,000, 6,000 bees. Dang. Is 
Be easy. Be easy. I'll just let me, uh, let me, I want to look at these two while we're here. It's crazy how they just go to work. They're on. These are psychic. They are doing what they need to do as far as we see we split open the honey coming right there. As yeah. far as um, being able to keep like the queens good and the, and the hives good. How come some of them are bare and some of them have like... they haven't traveled over yet to... Um... So see how they're coning over here on this side now, Rod? They're starting to move over. This is a heavy one right here. Yeah. You guys should hold that up and take wow. a photo. Yeah. Right, and so see all the fresh honey right there? Go ahead, taste that. Dip in that fresh honey up right. on the top up here. Where I split the over here? here in the middle. Here? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so good. Right? That's rad. Rad, right? Rad as a guess. So, yeah, I wonder. You see the queen? She's probably in the middle there. But, yeah, we just want to make sure that we see cap brew happening, how they're capping like that, wow, how they're growing, done how they're there. still. Just going to check the hive and make sure all the you can see where they're starting to fill each little chamber up full of honey and then they cap it yeah and that's how they eat throughout the year throughout the winter so we just want to check it every time we come down here and make sure everything's good and they're starting over here to you ask what those are Whoa. So that's what they're doing they're starting to Whoa. starting to build the combs and starting to grow right that's so cool they've done that in a week yeah I haven't started over on this side yet. Awesome. So you ask how we extract the honey, we'd sweep all these off, yeah, we'll the broom, yep. and we'd pull all this comb off. And then extract it. Do you have to lay it out over something like a screen? And <laughs> what do you put it in jars, yeah. Oh, you just jar it right mm -hmm. away? On the comb? Yeah, well you can like, heat it up and get the honey out of it. Did you have someone come set it up? Oh yeah, we had like a bee expert come out and uh, Bring all the boxes, get, get no, like a start it. Really? Yeah. Is that one sitting on the right? This one? This. The weird yeah. gap. Seems like the hive is doing good. This is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. 